Four days ago, I did a video on reserve rights, by the end of the video, during the like and subscribe part, I said a few words about year and finance, and I want you to listen to the words, I want you to listen to what I said. But there are some interesting technicals on the year and finance that I want to tell you guys about. I can just give you a quick, uh, quick uh, reference. Check the year and finance, find the falling wedge, look how many red candles you had in a row on the weekly, that's all I had to say. That's all I had to say. Yeah. How you doing, guys? Uh, welcome back to the new video. This time about your finance. And as you saw, I already mentioned the year finance like four days ago. And I said it uh, had some interesting technicals. And the technicals I was talking about was the falling wedge. It was in the falling wedge and it had six red candles in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six. The green candle over here, it was actually red and actually on the downside of the wedge. And for me, that's really interesting, especially when you get six red candles in a row. Statistically, it has to turn around. Depend, I mean, depending on the, what kind of project, but sooner or later it has to turn around. This turned around and pumped like, uh, what, 136%. It pumped 136%. Now on the weekly, the wedge it looks like it's, we are still in the wedge, but we have to zoom out because it is really, uh, I don't know how do you, how do you say it, but when you look at the daily, you can see that we went out of the wedge really hard and then we went back down to the wedge and we are actually above the wedge and we are testing the support here. To see the testing of the sport, uh, we have to go on the four hourly. And if you look on the four hourly, you see we pumped all the way up here, went back up there, went down to the line. You see how we uh, went below the line, but we closed above the line. That's so supporting her, uh, supporting the uh, the line is, is holding up. Then we went down again, up, and now we are above the line. Uh, this the purple one, this two under moving average, but this is on the four hourly, so don't take. Uh, it too seriously right now but we are right there and we are testing the outside of the wedge right now and that's really really bullish now uh, will this continue to drop down below the wedge and down i don't think so i think actually it's it can either go either sideways or it's gonna keep on going um, up so sideways or up that's the two options right now uh, but uh, it looks, looks really bullish like especially since the start uh, you had some kind of sell-off and I think the sell-off is uh, finished now and uh, you're getting a new chance to uh, buy back in now what I want to say, say about year on finance right now is uh, uh, you want to look for certain uh, certain resistances and supports now I'm gonna uh, now I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep the wedge the red line here, the moving average, that's the 20 moving average. You see, we pumped, uh, we came the on the first day, we came all the way up to the uh, 20 moving average. We didn't break it, but on the second day, we broke the 20 moving average. We pumped up, wept up to the 50 moving average. Uh, the blue uh, line over here, there's the 100 moving average. We got the resistance there and went back down to the support line, and that's good. We are above 20 moving average, and as long as we keep above 20 moving average, keep above the... Uh, uh, uh resistance uh upper line on the uh, on the wedge all good man all good so this looks really bullish for the uh year in finance especially look at the red candles no sorry green candles green volume candles like look at this candle like, right here after the first day everybody came in and just pumped it real hard outside of the wedge i think the the sell-off like i said is finished and now you're going uh for up let's go and zoom into four hourly and see how the four hours is gonna pay, uh, play out i think it's gonna wait for the 200 to come up to pick up the uh, pace so it's gonna go something like uh, maybe here until the two, uh, 20 is gonna come and then it's gonna uh, move even harder up so i think uh, right now it's gonna go sideways until it uh, uh, picks up the 20 moving uh, average on the four hourly and uh, go further up Wait, I didn't want to remove that. I want to remove just these lines. Now we're gonna go to hourly, see how hourly is paying out. Now on hourly, 20 is already broken. That's not uh, that's not a problem. Uh, that's not a problem. You see how it went under the uh, wedge and then above the wedge again. That's what we've been seeing on the four hourly and daily. Uh, it holds the 20 moving average. That's a normal. Uh, normal pullback for the one hourly 
the close, uh, the more down you go, like on five minutes, you can see a pullback all the way down to 200 moving average, right? Uh, and this is like normal pullback. You can even have uh, which one? this one is 400 pull, uh, 400 moving average pullback for five hourly. That's this is a normal pullback, and it's it's all good. Like four hourly, uh, uh, no, sorry, five minutes. 400 moving average down to the 400 moving average on far only that's normal pullback normal pullback but it's not normal pullback on the uh, daily to go down to the 400 moving average you know on daily we are looking at um, 20 or 50 on the weekly 20 on the monthly like 10 20 maybe it's 50 like it's bad let's look at monthly i don't think we got anything on the monthly right now there are no months there. We got three months, four months here, five months. Yeah, you can't pull anything out. You can look on the weekly and the weekly. What do we have here? We don't even have anything on the weekly. Let's look at 10. This is 10 moving average on the weekly. Is it 10 or 6? Because sometimes I change these. It's 10. This is the 10 moving average on the weekly. The yellow one. And you see we are still uh, below it. Uh, that can be some kind of resistance, especially if it's on the weekly. But once you break the yellow one, and it's at uh, 20,700 or something like that, uh, it's, especially since it's going, uh, it's, its direction now, it's down, it's easier to break it and go above it. So I would assume, let me delete this one, I would assume that this uh, movement up now is going to break the 20, uh, sorry, 10 moving average sooner or later. Uh, but it's gonna be uh, some kind of support to break. Uh, so, sorry, some kind of resistance to break. But once it does it, it's uh, it's game over. It's just gonna continue going up. Now I don't know much about fundamental on the year in finance, uh, but a lot of people are talking about it. Looks like it's a like, real thing. So you know, take care about it. Watch the twenty. Uh, first of all, watch on the. Let me just. On the 4 hourly, you want to watch the 20 moving average, you want to see it hit and hold the 20 moving average. Or in the worst case now, you want to see it on the 4 hourly holding the 50 moving average. On the daily, you want to see it hold above the 20 moving average. That's uh, uh, be there or be square. I don't, I, don't, I don't know the expression you say, you know. But you want to be above the 20 moving average. It's, if it closes below the 20 moving average, like, take your precautions. Take your precautions. But as long as it's above the 20 moving average, outside of the wedge you know you are so bullish you are so bullish especially this pullback over here it went all the way to 70,450 you know and pulled back down 3,000 what's 3,595 I, 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 I earlier today when I saw it it was uh, it was maybe up here somewhere uh, somewhere like that right and I said like uh, 13,500 something like over here would be a nice buy buying if i was to do it uh so maybe that's some kind of buying uh but if it start going lower you know you know what's gonna uh, what you're gonna do but right now i see like real bullish upside for the uh, year in finance i like like i said on weekly you just had five red weekly candles five red weekly i mean there's no more uh, sell-offs, you know, there are no more sell-offs, now you, uh, people are bought, uh, start buying, the sell-offs are finished, you are out of the wedge, like, you know, do what you have to do and uh, don't lose your money. Thanks guys for watching, uh, and thanks for watching uh, all the way here, it's been 8 minutes, nice, so I got 2 more minutes to get past 10 minutes, so I have to chat for 2 more minutes. No, just kidding, just kidding. I wanna say like the video if you like my content. If you wanna subscribe to see more of this content, subscribe man. It tells me, it helps my channel things. I don't like the bag, you know, but every area you turn around, everybody says, oh, just remind your viewers to subscribe, man. If they subscribe, you know, if you tell them to subscribe, then I'm gonna know subscribe. If you don't tell them to subscribe, they're not gonna uh, subscribe, you know. So I don't know who's right, but I, I if I if I mention the subscribe part, you know, you know, maybe you subscribe, you know. Okay, take care. Uh, don't lose all your money. That's the most important part. Don't lose all your money.